What's up gamers, Jem here and welcome to the first look of a Wreckfest on Stadia and yeah, let's begin and see what this game's all about. Uh, usage data, uh, sure, as long as it doesn't require me to sign in, I'm, I'm, sure I'm up for it. So we've got career, we've got multiplayer, there's something called tournament, compete for fame and rewards. Um, so yeah, this is this video is going to be focusing on the career version, the single player version, and I do plan to stream the multiplayer quite often. Um, and yeah, let's see. There's garages, my cars, paint shop, upgrades, tune market. Oh, purchase new cars. Let's see what this is. What this is like. How many cars are there? Uh, there is. Okay, there's quite a bit of cars. Maybe about twenty. 30, about 20 or 30 cars you could buy and then once you buy them I guess you can change the painting upgrade them uh, right there oh my cars let's see what car I have okay I've got one car and <laughs> oh it's it's got the it's got um, hitman on it instead of hitman so it's got hitman and yeah it's got the number 68 I mean it, it's just begging for that number to be changed um, what else does it say on there okay um, can let's see if we can customize it now oh, that's settings paint shop what is what does this actually change oh it changes oh it just changes the the decal <laughs> this is nuts. <laughs> oh, and it also changes the number. You know what? I actually like the first one. Uh, it says preset colors. Oh. Oh, now I can... How did I do that? Let me go back. I don't know how I actually did that. Let me just redo that. Paint shop. So I picked the decal. I like this one. Oh, you just press X or A. Um... Oh, this reminds me of, oh my god, this car actually reminds me of Destruction Derby Raw on PS1 right now. Um, I gotta say, I like the, I like the America <laughs> car. <laughs> um, oh, you can press L1 and R1, I just noticed on the top left to change stuff. Um, so if you want, you can change the color. I'm not gonna change anything, let's just reset. Like this is this is perfect already as it is. Upgrades. Let's see what upgrades we can do. Uh, engine. Oh, and it changes the stats of the car. That is awesome. There is progression in this game. It says I need level 23. Um, it's unclear if I. Oh, there is a money system. I see. It says price 150 gold. I don't know how much I have. Oh, I have a thousand. No, I have 10,000 gold. So I could probably even buy a new vehicle. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is this is great. It's got progression. You can buy new cars, upgrade them, change your decal. Uh, you could also tune the car. Um, okay, this is something Grid has as well, where you can make it the way you want it. You know, like the stiffness of the turning or whatever. Um, yeah, let's actually play the game now. So career, um, regional. I guess that's the only thing I've got left. How, what do I need to do to unlock these? It doesn't say. Regional, juniors, uh, challenge, eat dirt, uh, demolition racing series. Let's just do the top left one. I don't know what this is. Type lawnmower. Oh, we're gonna be driving a lawnmower. Oh, and it even says reward lawnmower. So you can actually earn cars through the the career mode. It's not just buying them. You can also earn new ones. Um, what's garage? I can't go into garage. Maybe it's because I don't actually own other cars. <laughs> Vehicle damage, normal, intense. I'm just going to keep it to normal. But when I play multiplayer, if I have an option, I'll probably like, set it to max or something. <laughs> um, yeah, let's start. I'm actually excited. This is interesting. There's so much. So far, I'm liking everything I see. I love progression in games. And there's car progression. And this single player mode sounds crazy, like lone mowers, deathmatch derby. So I don't think this is a race. I think we have to literally just destroy each other. Oh my god, I'm gonna love this game. Let's just see what the actual handling of 
the game is like. I'm not gonna judge it on the lawn mower because it's not an actual proper car. Uh, but if the lawn mower has good handling and stuff, then I expect the normal cars to have it as well. I just assume, you know, R2 to accelerate, L2 to brake. <laughs> and let's let's damage each other. I feel I got 99 health. Yeah, I got 98 health now. <laughs> it says it on the bottom left corner. Oh, I can also see like if my front is damaged or whatnot and my sides. Oh, someone got knocked out of the car. Is this like Battle Royale? Oh no, you get to respawn. Oh, I just slammed the hell out of someone. Oh, I just got knocked out. I think it's good to reset because if you get knocked out, your car is just standing there. So you can get like another hit if on like an AFK car, just like that. I just wrecked someone because they didn't respawn. So if you get knocked out, respawn immediately. Don't let your car just just uh, hang there and loose because it's easy to get hit. So what I'm trying to say is even though you're not physically in your car, your car can still take damage and it's even easier because it's just standing there. So side hits are the best, it seems. Just try to hit someone on the side. I feel like my car is more OP than the bots. Either I'm playing amazingly well right now, or I just feel like they have better... Uh, I have better stats than them. So the handling of the lone mower is fairly good. It's not perfect, um, but you know what? It's like what I was expecting from a lone mower. <laughs> Um, so they they have pretty much nailed the controls. It's not too arcadey. It's just how I expect how a lawnmower would be in a destruction uh, deathmatch destruction. So I don't think this is battle royale. I think this is straight up just take out as many people as you can. Like a normal deathmatch is respawning. Maybe, maybe for me, I don't get that opportunity. Maybe that's why my car feels too OP. Oh, my car is on fire. <laughs> I don't know if there's like handbrake buttons. Okay, circle, I think is handbrake. Or B, if you're using... Uh, the stadium controller. Ooh. I am first position, I guess it's because of my score, I got 14 kills. Great, I guess I win a lawnmower. <laughs> I don't know when I'll use it. Uh, great, wreck ratio 14 to 0. Oh, so, I do, so if I did die, I did have a chance to respawn. I guess I'm just that good. <laughs> um, level 2. Oh, and it tells you what you've unlocked. That's great. Vehicle lawnmower. <laughs> I just can't take that serious. Um, Total points 100, that's great. Let's do Demolition Racing Series, the main event. Um, garage, my cars. Oh, I don't, I can't choose. Show all vehicles is options. There we go. Oh, I can't pick it. Show only eligible. Ah, oh. but, but the, but the event says all types, doesn't it? Where did I read that? I swear it said all types. Let me go back. Yeah, type all types. Let me get the mouse out. Oh, you can't see the mouse? <laughs> the mouse actually controls uh, the menu like that. Um, but yeah, it says um, all types on the left side, but you can't use a lone mower. So it's not really all types, is it? <laughs> So this is uh, my first demolition race. Super excited. This is pretty much the main event of the game. I really hope there's a map in multiplayer 
where it's a skyscraper and you have to knock people out of the skyscraper. That's my favorite mode on Destruction Derby Raw on PS1. That was... I love that mode. I used to have friends come over to my house, play split screen. That was the only mode we always play in that game. It was just so fun. Like, it would mean the world to me if, uh, if this game had that as well. I mean, it, it might have, I don't know, but yeah, if it does, that's great. <gasps> the person in front of me is called the bear. Oh, R3 does this scoreboard thing on the left. That is super useful. I like that. I'm just going to keep it as a small version. And I'm going to focus on the race now. <laughs> I was just wondering what other buttons did. So it looks like... It's actually funny we get to see the health of the cars. I would prefer it if... When you get knocked out completely, then that's it. Like, no respawns. That's what I would prefer. But maybe if you do, like... If you put destruction to max, maybe it's really easy to get destroyed. I might do that for the next race. I may put it on max. Uh, see how easy it is to destroy each other. Because right now it should be on normal. And I mean, everyone's pretty much got like 99 health plus. Plus ultra. <laughs> uh, so the controls, the handling of this game, it's great. It actually, it kind of reminds me of Grid. Just, just, just a tiny bit more arcadey than grid, which is great for me at least. I, I prefer arcade racing, anyways. Okay, yeah, this is really good. I like it. I like everything so far about this game. Oh, and you got all these. It's straight up destruction. Like even, even the environment. It's, it stays like that. Like, you hit the tires of the side and it's on all over the road and you interact with it, that's cool. I really love destruction in games, in all games, it's just, it just puts a smile on my face. <laughs> I just like that. Like, when you play um, shooter games, like Counter-Strike, for example, uh, there's a map called Office, and when you're on the, the defense side, um, there's a lot of computers you can destroy, so every time the round starts, I'd get my pistol and just shoot all the computers and screens, the projectors, uh, like all the boxes. It's just always been a habit of mine. I just love seeing s stuff being destroyed. <laughs> oh, just interacting with the tires. Oh my god. I love this game. This may be my... Oh, dare I say my most favorite racing game? I mean, I really love Riders Republic. Oh my god, I don't want to... Uh, I just, I just can't say Rides Republic as second place. I want to separate them. I think they're both number one. <laughs> um, so let's continue. Um, let's go back. Right, what does that say? Banger Racing. Figure 8. Oh my god, that's a figure 8. Oh, I can't play this because I don't own the car. I don't get it. It says all types there and then it says I don't own a car for this. Oh, it has to be a European car? No, so yeah, this has to be a European car. So, <clears throat> the types doesn't really matter. This one has a country restriction. Mud Mayhem. Let's go for that. You have another series in progress, do you want to abandon it and enter a new one? Oh, no! Oh, this continues! This is a... Oh, this is a four race thing. Okay, let's just continue with that. I thought I was done with it. <laughs> okay, let's do... Oh, extreme. Let's do extreme vehicle damage. That's the, that's the highest you can get. Is it... It's the same map. So what, I have to do the same map four times? I'm so confused. Is it the same map? I don't remember gravel roads. Oh no, it's not the same map. Okay, my bad. It just looked like the same map on the, the minimap thing. Let me just make sure... 
Driving difficulty is on easy. I'm gonna put it on easy. I'll just let it stay like that. I'm good with it. Um, stay with the control. Sure. Uh, so let's start. Yeah, this is, a diff this is definitely a different map. So we're on realistic uh, vehicle damage. Let's see. Oh, I can't see people's health bars. Wait, where is my health bar? Oh, I guess... Oh my god, the front of my car is gone. So in realistic mode, they disable the health bar. And I guess you have to literally look at the shape of the car. Oh my god, I could barely turn. Wow. This is great. <laughs> Speed too high. I I wonder if I get knocked out and with no respawns. Like I'd rather reset right now so I get my car back. I am going so slow. Like the handling is horrible right now. Oh my god, no wonder the handling's horrible right now. Look at that. Oh my god. I can't even <laughs> Oh wow, I I have one tire. No one I'm complaining about the handling. Okay, you know what? I made up my mind. This is the best racing game <laughs> that I've played this year. I'm sorry, Riders right, Republic. <laughs> I think you're gonna get second place. Um, wow. I literally <laughs> I'm struggling to go. Oh my god, the front of my car's on fire. I, you know what, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna slam this wall. Oh my god! I thought that was gonna actually kill me. Reset. Oh. Oh, there's a car. Oh, I think... Oh, there is no respawn. You actually genuinely do get knocked out. Oh, okay. I like that. Oh, did I just unlock a new car? I think I just unlocked a European car, I'm not sure. So that counted. I guess I have to uh, get first place in all of them to get like 100%. Man, realistic or extreme, like the most diff uh, destruction thing. Little touches and your car's like, your car wheel's gone. Oh, uh, this is gonna be, like if I pick the perfect track in multiplayer, this is gonna this is gonna be great in multiplayer, <laughs> and there's uh, 24 players in multiplayer, so that oh, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, front wheel damage. Let's go. <laughs> I wonder if uh, every car has its own like uh, armor. So if I was to pick like a jeep or something, maybe I have like higher armor. I could take more hits. Maybe you could even upgrade it. Okay, now that I'm first, this is good. I just oh, just try not to hit the edges, right? Yeah. Uh, so being first is going to be great in these modes, as long as like. Yeah, all I'm going to be hit is from behind. That's okay, actually. I'd rather get hit from behind than the front. But I guess if you have any edges that's like solid red or black, I guess, I think that's when you're like properly like taken out, even if it's just one side. So if my back is completely gone, then I'm wrecked and I'm out of the race. Is why I assume. Oh, and the cars actually stay on the track when you get knocked out. Oh, ho, ho. multiplayer is gonna be crazy. Oh no! Thankfully, the tires deal no damage to me. The bear is actually coming, no! The bear is right next to me. 
I've lost a bit of handling on this car, so I'm just trying to drive safe, so I don't want to like hit the edge and die. Oh, the previous car. Oh, is it that one? I don't know. So the cars, I don't think the cars stay forever, but they stay long enough for at least like one lap. That That is a shame. I would have preferred if it stayed forever, but one lap is okay too. Oh, 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 that looked cool. I was gonna knock him out. Finished, awesome. I'm keeping, I'm keeping the most destruction uh, level uh, for now. <laughs> if it becomes too much an issue for me, then I'll probably go down by one. But right now, I really like it. It's only going to be an issue when you're in the middle of the bundle, right? Like, at the front, you're okay. Like, top three, I think you'll be okay with the damage. Although, this does persuade me not to hit people. Try to look for the bear. <laughs> oh, they're, I think they're behind me. Yeah, they're seventh position. Oh no! I just touched them a little bit and I'm out. Oh my god. That's crazy. <laughs> Um. So I've done that. So I got about half a point there. Let's do mud mayhem. Fairfield mud pier. What is this? Demolition arena. Last man standing. Yes, battle royale with cars. Oh, I didn't even choose the the, the destruction system. Is it actually set to max on Battle Royale? Like, who's gonna hit anyone? It's gonna be... Like, if you hit someone, you have a high chance of dying yourself. Oh, the yellow car looks good. Can I change it here? Huh? No? Okay, I guess you have to do it at the, the previous section. 23 opponents. Oh, Battle Royale, let's go! I'm going to dodge. I'm touching everyone. It's gonna be so easy to destroy your car. I set destruction to max. Seriously, like in, in this mode, just don't hit anyone when you got destruction to max. Dude, that guy lost half his car. He's literally on two wheels right now. And he's driving, what? Oh, he's got one wheel attached. That's why he's still alive. He literally, <laughs> literally just has one wheel. Oh my god, look at this car! Wow! Okay, I need to go. <laughs> There's 12 opponents left. I'm gonna battle on like the last three cars or whatever. I need my car in top shape. Maybe I, if I hit a car from the side, I don't take as much damage. Wait, I'm wrecked? Why? What did I do? I'm so confused. Is it because I didn't actually hit anyone? I want to restart that. I don't know what happened. Difficulty. Oh no, I can't change that. I'm restarting that. Is there a system where if you don't hit someone, you're out? I guess, I guess uh, the game really wants you to hit people, otherwise they'll just camp like I did. I mean, I hit the side and my front gut, my front car is like gone. Although I, I can, I'm still in the game, even though it's black. 
like the front part, like it's proper gone. Oh, I can reset. <laughs> oh, I just wrecked my car. Okay, this this isn't fun when you got it on max uh, demolition. Let me put it a bit below. Vehicle damage. So we got we got one, two, three, four. Uh, maybe two. Let's put it on intense. And let's try that again. Because it, it's not really fun, like, the idea of the game mode is to hit people and you can't, like, why would you do it if, if you hit someone twice, you're, you're also out. So I think it's better to lower the, 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 the destruction level in these type of game modes. graphics are really great as well. It's so sharp, the resolution. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you. Boom. Okay, this is more like it. Maybe I will stick to level 2 destruction. I've, it's way better than normal. Normal f made me feel like I was a tank on the lone mower. Uh, but yeah, level 2 destruction feels actually really good right now. And you're like from the second hit, like my my car control is already screwed. Yeah, I I, I definitely prefer level two uh, destruction. I might keep it like this in racing as well. Did I just see someone walk? No, never mind. I didn't. It was just a part. I can't. I can barely turn right. I got my health health back. Well, the front of my car is completely gone. <laughs> I don't I don't know what to do. Like I can't hit anyone from the front anymore. Oh wow, that that car is completely gone. Yes, nice. I'm trying to hit people with like the sides of my cars. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't drive. I'm holding left as much as I can. Wow, my car is completely gone. Oh my god, all I have is my right side. It says I have 50% health. That's not true, mate. Okay, if I have a health bar... Does that still mean I can still hit from the front? Let's test that theory out. I'm just gonna go all in from the front on this guy. Okay, I think it does mean that. So in this mode, in this difficulty, your health bar is what counts. So just because I completely lost my front and left, doesn't mean I'm completely out of the game. Although I assume if I just completely destroy my right side, even if I have like 20% health. No, actually no. That just means I can't turn. I've seen cars like this in this mode. I was thinking if you lose your front wheels completely, surely you're out, even if you have health. But no, that's not the case, because I've seen cars like that. So I think you literally have to lose all your health in this difficulty. I can't turn. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, this, is, uh, this is perfect, this difficulty setting. Oh, destruction setting is perfect. I love it. Wow, I deal no damage from the front. Ooh, how you do me like that? Wow, that guy's got like 1 HP. I can't even see their health. Oh, I think I saw an indicate on the right. I think you have to hit people, otherwise you die. I mean, there's like a timer. I saw like this time on the right side, I didn't read it properly. There we are, contact time, 35 seconds. So you do actually have to hit at least someone, like one person, every minute or so to stay in the match. I can't move! Die!
Oh, I got wrecked. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this is awesome. This is a perfect, perfect destruction setting. I highly recommend picking the one that I've been using. And then we have Demolition Racing. Um, intense modes. Let's double check. Yeah, that's number two. I mean, this one's just going in a circle. Battle Beast. Um, oh, this one's like a tournament. You have to do four races, six, seven races, I guess. Oh, I still got a hundred health. Is it just not as severe as in the arena mode? I feel like I should have been like 90 health by now. I just want to hit someone. Maybe the this demolition destruction changes based on the game mode as well, it's not just the saying itself. Or maybe in... I don't know. Because it, it just doesn't feel the same. Wait, what? Oh, was it just one lap? <laughs> I thought I got knocked out with ease there. Just after when I was saying, oh, it's not really easy to destroy people. Semi-final. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Who's at least 500 damage? Oh wow, the bear is on the van. <laughs> I'm getting hit from the side like that. Yeah, get knocked out. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe on the next race, like after this section, this tournament or whatever, I'll try the level 3 destruction as well, see what that's like. And the final one, here we go. It's just going in a circle. It, this is this is straight up just derby. Just going in a circle. Just in a dirt dirty dirt road area. Uncle Slap. <laughs> That's a good name. That's one lap already. Yeah the control like it, when you have 100% health. The controls, the handling on this game is really good. I haven't used any handbrakes yet. I've been using normal brakes this entire time. I guess I just don't need it. Hey, I can see the last player in front of me. Oh, why do I? Why did I decide to change? Uh, test out what the buttons do right now. So, uh, triangle is the button to switch perspectives. I don't know what square does, it just gives me a message saying speed too high. Oh! Squ okay, square is reset and it's just saying that I can't reset if I'm driving.
Whoa! What happened there? Why are people spawning from there? So we won that. I'm getting a lot of levels and XP, that's great. Um, we got this racing. And I get a, a car as a reward. Oh, there's so much more in this section. A sofa car? I'm gonna leave that at the end. <laughs> um, let's do this real quick. Set it to realistic. I hope this is, yeah, this is a race. After this, I'm definitely gonna try out the sofa race. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Is it like Battlefield Hardline where you actually drive a sofa? So I put difficulty, uh, sorry, destruction level to free on this race, so just so I could test out which one I like the best. Oh, it's just us two. It's not going to make uh, that much of a difference. Let me see if I can hit them. And they're gone. I guess I need to upgrade my car. Boom! I did nothing. <laughs> there we go. Knock them out. Just like that. I can't really test level 3 destruction with like just one car or well, with one opponent. But yeah, I, I knocked the hell out of there. I think this race is definitely mine. I just realized there's music in the background. <laughs> it, the volume is so low, I, I just realized it now. I didn't change any audio settings by the way. The moment I launched the game is when I started this video, so I didn't even go. I didn't even check like what's in the settings and whatnot. That's so beautiful. That sunset. Really beautiful. Uh, there's like there's not a single thing that I could find a problem with this game. It's just it's uh, there. I see perfection. At least the single player experience. I'm curious to see what the online multiplayer is like. But the single player, like it's so good, and it's uh, at the time of recording this, it's on Stadia Pro since. Uh, since launch so like it's really really great value and this game is very worthy to compete for my love for Riders Republic <laughs> um, let's continue got, got the Tristar car maybe that's what my opponent was using and I took their car okay let's go to let's go try out sofa car and it says I win a sofa car. Um, level 3, there we go. Oh, and it's a figure 8. Man Man Stadium. Oh my god! <laughs> Am I on the controller? Oh no, that's the steering wheel. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm in love with this game. This is ridiculous. This is crazy. No. Uh, so, oh. This this car acts as if it's like a motorbike. Like, it, you actually pull out your sofa. <laughs> I was going to say your car, but... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just knocked them out. 
Okay, level three on on at least sofa cars. It's actually pr really good. Level three destruction uh, on the sofa cars. But the issue is, I can't like this doesn't reflect how the cars would work. It's just a uh, this is a sofa, but this it works really well on this mode. I, it's just so satisfying hitting them from the back. This might be my most favorite mode. Like, forget about the craziness. It's just the fact that I can hit them from behind really hard, and then they get they fly out. Ooh. Oh, and I bet I could customize. <gasps> Can I upgrade and customize my my sofa car? I need to try that out after this race. I've been. i surely I've been getting money anyways through through all the races I've done. So I started off with ten thousand. I didn't buy anything, if I remember correctly. So I want to see how much I earned in like forty minutes of racing. I'm full. Oh, I'm first. Oh, okay. It's hard to tell. Like, I mean, obviously you could just look at the top left, but I thought I was like at least fifth or something because there's always people in front of me. <gasps> no! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Oh, I'm second now. Very bad boys first. Well, I my car is like nearly destroyed. The health is nearly gone. So you can't actually damage the sides and stuff. That's why I think I don't have an issue with this uh, this destruction level. Oh god damn it. There we go, I was spamming square there. Yes, finished. That was awesome. That was awesome. I, <laughs> give me my sofa car, yes. <laughs> Region United States. <laughs> um, continue. Let's go back. Um, garage. Upgrades. No, not this car. How do I change cars? My, my cars? Got the sofa car. That's my highest. The sofa car is my highest level. <laughs> it's right there in the background. Uh, upgrades. <laughs> I can actually. Oh, it, does it change something? It looks like it's changing something very minor, but I can upgrade it. <laughs> One uh, thirteen thousand five hundred. Oh, I only have. 15,000, so I've gained about 5,000 points from like 40 minutes of racing. Is this what I already have? This doesn't... What's the difference between these two? They don't upgrade anything. Some of these upgrades... They don't... They have no effect. I thought it would change the pipes of the side. Yeah, I'm confused. Some of these upgrades, they, they, they have no value change. But it lets you choose between two options. So far, so good. I'm gonna go for the leopard skin. And change its color. Let's do like pink. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, layer two? No. Layer one. I don't know what this changed. I don't know what is changing. I don't see anything. You can't use the right stick and you change the color at the same time. I'm gonna reset. Oh no, I didn't want to reset the whole thing. I just wanted to reset that one. Um, let's put it to. 
let's put it like that. Uh, layer 2. Can I not change the wood color? Oh my god, no! <laughs> it's reset the whole thing. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this as pink and leave it like that. Yeah, about that. Continue. Is it done? Save. There we go. That's great. <laughs> um, actually, I wanna upgrade. I wanna upgrade this car. Oh, the TriStar. Takes a while to load. Yeah, I want. Yeah, I want my America car. <laughs> um, and then upgrade. Let's upgrade this car. Well, that's, that's so expensive. Oh, I can't. I don't even have the level for it. New. Why is level 7? I'm level 5. Oh, this is cheap. And he upgrades it by just point 0.1. <laughs> Take that. Level 9. This also goes up by point 0.1. Might as well, right? It's just every little counts. Well, anyways, uh, I'll do this layer at my own time. Um, it's profiles. Doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. So this was... Can I... Actually, let me check multiplayer real quick. I want to see if there's a server browser. Yes, there is. Great, there's actually someone playing. Um, six laps, six players. You know what? Let's Let's do it. Let's play one multiplayer. If if the queue if there's a queuing or spectating, I'm just gonna skip the video ahead to right to the action. Um so Set ready. So we're in the lobby. Are, are they not racing? Race starts in 90 seconds. Oh, we're, we're in the lobby. I thought they were already racing. Great. I actually wanted to know if people could queue up, spectate and stuff. That would be super useful. I wonder why these people have green stars next to their names. Oh, you could change your car here. <laughs> the sofa car. It's got one strength. I do want to play as a sofa car, but the issue is... Every time someone hits me from behind, I'm knocked out. I'm going to go for this car. It has the, the second highest specs that I have. Uh, you could go to the paint shop, you could upgrade. Um, right from the multiplayer menu, that's so great. I don't think there's voice chat in this game. So we've got 20 seconds left. Ping 1917. Cool, I got a good ping. Oh yeah, the, the people with the green stars, they have less than one ping. What are they bots? I'm so confused. Oh, nice purple car. So th this is the multiplayer experience. There's 12 laps. It's just a circle. I don't know what the destruction level was, but feel free to rewind the video to check out the settings because I didn't pay attention to it. And I'm good first right now, cool. With a car that I've unlocked but I didn't upgrade. I feel like the destruction's probably on normal because I did hit a few people and I haven't lost any damage. You know what, I think I think the green stars 
Uh, there are bots. I think they are bots. That it would explain the one, like less than one MS ping, but also they have these names as if they are bots. You got Lucky Ninety Nine, Uncle Big Bob, Mad Monster. Like these, some of these names, I I just don't believe they're real Stadia players. And also, I don't think you can put a space in your name on Stadia, anyways. So I guess the game fills the rest of the players with bots which is fantastic um, you always have a full party basically just realize the steering wheel on this car is on the right side just like uh, UK oh and I just realized on the scoreboard it gives you a live it gives you a live counter on how many seconds they're behind from you that is that is something I've never seen any racing game do they always do it in checkpoints like every 30 seconds you hit a checkpoint that's when you get a, an update saying hey this person is like five seconds behind you but in this game it's a live counter you could always pay attention to it that is so useful every, I just love everything about this game it's just great it, it's, it's like I can't find a single thing to complain about. The like the multiplayer setup and stuff, it looks perfect. It's got a server browser. When I stream this game, I could be like, "Hey, just join the server browser." Um, hopefully, people can spectate and queue up if there's space. That would be fantastic you probably can I wouldn't be surprised like they, they've nailed everything about this game it's just superb and it's on Stadia Pro at the time of recording this so it's really really great value we're on the final lap the second place six seconds behind oh I love this this is this is so great because I would be paranoid thinking the person behind me is second place but they're not they're probably like 12 or something best lap 60 seconds so yeah one uh, my multiplayer was so that we got one minute to spectate people this is the spectate system I don't know what the one does I can't select it we got follow car oh it says their names on people you could follow I can't <laughs> I can't highlight 14 now oh, there we go it's like a little mini game selecting the people oh and it tells you who are these people left if they grayed out that means they've they've done the race that's great hopefully it does it automatic it probably does I think it, if one of these great cars actually change it does it automatic I assume select camera <gasps> oh free ah <laughs> I want I wanted free cam just like fly around or something oh the second player was a bot <laughs> um, back to lobby I got XP for that that's great okay that was multiplayer um, I want to check one more thing real quick server browser is there was four minute left oh okay these I think this means I think if it's in brackets it means they're actually racing right now just my guess let me connect so okay we're connecting let's see if it takes me to lobby are they starting the next race I just want to see how it works if someone already starts a race Spectate, there we go. That's that's perfect. That is oh my god. Everything about this game is perfect. The single player experience, the multiplayer experience, all the qu all the quality of life changes is right here. This is how you make a game. Oh this is a lens effect. Okay, how do I actually I got free cam on, how do I actually move? Oh. Okay I Oh my god! 
Um, oh, you have to actually. Whoops. Is there a button where I could just hide? Oh, wait, hold on. I think I screwed something up here. Go to free. Oh, cockpit. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, free. Hide UI. Okay, this is this is great. Except for the, <laughs> except for the visual glitches. Except for that, this is great. Oh, R2 is to like go faster. Just like just pretend the camera is a car. It's a bit too high sensitivity with the right stick, but oh, there's Captain. <laughs> awesome. They're they're playing uh, breakfast. And they're in my first look video. That's, <laughs> that's awesome. So they just need to fix that glitch tier thing. Um, it's gone right now. Let's let's see if we can figure out to spectate to Captain. Whoops! There they are. Select. Oh, it's on target now. Oh. So if I go to hide UI, I can control the camera and it's always targeting Captain. This is this is cool as well. I don't know how to make my camera go up. Um, select camera. Track side, chase near. That's... Yeah, I prefer chase near. I think that's better. Hood, cockpit, chase far. Chase for two, or just leave it on track side. Okay, so that's the game. I'm just gonna quit. So we pretty much covered everything in this game that has to offer. Multiplayer is great. It, oh my god, can't wait to stream this. This is just so my <laughs> so my final conclusion of so far with this game. Campaign mode, career mode, perfect. Multiplayer, perfect. This game is just solid. It, I strongly recommend it. It's on Stadia Pro right now. I'm recording this. That if you like racing games, this is it, man. This is really good. It's a very worthy competitor against Riders Republic. I think I like this way more, and I really love Riders. By the way, I've been playing that every day. Um, oh my god, really, really fantastic game. I love this game. Um, so yeah, that was the first look for Wreckfest. Uh, thank you for watching my video, this is Jam, and I'll see you on the next one.